All right, guys, welcome back. Now, in the previous video, I'll just try to expand this. We learned how to uh, interact with uh, the objects on the view uh, via the view controller, right? Uh, to control the views, pretty much. So, in this one, we're going to see now how to save our data and parse. So, the first thing we want to do is when the button is clicked, what do you want to do? Like we said earlier, we want to check if any field is empty. If it's empty, we will allow the user to check. No fields must uh, should be empty. Everything must be filled. So we're going to say, uh, I like writing comments. These are some piece of code that wouldn't run. It's just like uh, uh, to just inform you what is happening here, like this, do any additional setup. So this is a code that I've run by the program. So check for empty fields. Oh. Uh, alert the user if necessary, you know. And then we're going to say if, now this is back to code. I say if this username username dot text oh first of all we want to create three variables or we could just simply say dot text dot is empty is empty so if the text on the username field is empty we want to do something so I just don't like doing that what I like to do is create three variables which is just the same thing pretty much you know create a variable to hold what is in the text field. So this is a reference to the text field. Now what is inside of text will be referenced by calling the text property. property. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to say username text field. We're going to copy this. Uh, so we're going to create a var username equals to this username text field dot text. So the username text field dot text. Uh, create another variable I will say email equals to email text field dot text and the variable password equals to password text field dot text and then now we have those text data held in our username uh, email and password right here. So you're going to say if now this is the text if username dot is empty. There's a method, there's a property call is empty which checks if it's empty. And then when I use to write or in code when I use two pipes that means or. And then there's and which is uh, those two. I don't know what you call them. So we can use that and then email dot is empty or password not text field but password dot is empty so if the strings are empty we want to do something uh, here we want to alert the user so we can use it alert dialog alert user of empty field else else there's no empty field right so proceed to sign up success uh, proceed sign up user so let's go ahead and sign up the user here now to create a user in parse is pretty straightforward all we need is create a variable called user and then equals to pf user okay and then we say user dot username equals to now the user, this username is a property in parse. We want to, so the, the value is this username that we have right here. This pretty much, right? So sorry about the confusion of uh, names, but you get the idea, it's pretty simple. And then user dot email equals to, so the email is a property in, 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 in the user in parse. Okay, this is not, so and then, that email equals to this email. Pretty straightforward, no? User.password equals to this password. I'll just copy it and paste it here. And then now we say user.sign up in background with block. So we sign up the user in background. We don't want to sign up the user, just sign up like that because that will be interfering with the, uh, the main thread. We want to do that in the background so that everything is smooth. Okay. And then we're given to this uh, block. We're just going to open it by double clicking it. 
and here we can give it a uh, tag to identify we say success or is successful which is a boolean right is successful bool and then here I say error so I just give him them uh, if you've done Swift you'll definitely understand this but you know it's just like a name to identify that you know and then I will say the code here so I'll come in here and say if this error right here if error equals which is the NS error oops if error equals to nil if there's no error at all the user signed up successfully right so or if you could say if the user is not if the successful equals to true either way you know if successful equals to true or error equals to nil uh, success you can just like in caps success user signed up else Um, that was an error so I'll let the user here too it's always good to hold out the user uh, if they need they need to know you know there was an error in this case I'm not going to alert right now I'm just going to print line to, to just display the error what error is it so I can work with it right now so here if it's successful I want to print line I can say I can just print line this is successful to see if it's true or false you know so after this let's just run it again All right, let's give this a username of John. Email is john at gmail.com. The password is john. Create an account. And as you can see here, it's true. So let's check out parse if we have a user. And then boom, we have a username, John. The password is hidden definitely. The email is right here, the one we're giving it. And now we have a user object, which is cool. And that was so easy to do, right? So let me just first of all get rid of this test. Then to do that, I just click on more, drop class, and then just write its name, test object. Click OK, and that should go. So now we're back to that. So we've seen how to store data and parse now. Pretty simple and straightforward. Create a, a PF user object. Uh, and then you know you just give it the right properties that you want and then you sign up in background so thanks for watching that's the first video in the next video I'm going to show you now if the user successfully logged in uh, but actually before that we want to create a login page I like creating a register and login page first of all before working with the home page that way it's more uh, smooth so uh, let's go ahead and check out the login page in the next video thanks for watching guys